Hello everyone. My name is Esaraj Kuchailan. Currently, I am studying final year diploma in mechanical engineering at UTEM. The purpose of this video is to discuss about the economic hazard created to the student and the lecturers during this COVID-19 pandemic. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Mohamed Nurayman bin Basiruddin. I am from FKM and I am going to talk about ergonomic hazards identification. My name is Muhammad Izul Islam bin Kasim. I am from FKM Diploma. I will explain the point of impact ergonomic hazard to safety and health. Hello, my name is Muhammad Izzah Izzuddin bin Zainal and I am from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering going to explain and talk about measures to reduce the impact of academic hazard to safety and health. Uh, Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Shukri. I am diploma student in Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, University Technical Malaysia, Melaka, UTEM. Ergonomic hazards are physical factors in the environment that may cause a musculoskeletal injuries. In this case, where lectures and classes have to be conducted via online for students and lecturers, the ergonomic hazards can be identified as a lower back pain. It is because they have to sit in their chair for a long period during the class. And other than that, the ergonomic hazards can also be identified as an awkward postures or static postures due to less movement of joints and muscles. This also can cause a musculoskeletal disorders or MSD if proper treatments are not regulated. So, uh, for the next point, it will be conducted by Muhammad Izzul Islam bin Kasim. Thank you. Now, I will explain the impact of ergonomic hazard to safety and health based on the case study which is online learning. After making a group discussion among the group members, we found there are several impact of ergonomic hazard which is environment, physical, cognitive, organization and social. In this video, I will explain only two impact of ergonomic hazard. First impact is environment, for example, noisy environment. The student that are studying in noisy, noisy environment will unable to give a full attention while studying. They also cannot understand or listen what the lecturer is teaching. Second impact is physical. Students that have weak level of physical can are able to give a hundred percent of attention during the class. The next point will be explained by Muhammad Izzat Isudin. Thank you. When we talk about reducing the impact of academic hazard, as we know during the online teaching, both lecturer and students are having a improperly adjusted workstation and chairs. So we need to reposition uh, a work table or the place of learning to eliminate discomfort for student and lecturer. As a result, it can enable working in a natural posture so that both student and lecturer can be focusing during the online teaching process. In conclusion, ergonomics help people to be more comfortable at work, uh, reducing the stress or injury by causes by the incorrect positioning or repetitive tasks. To control the ergonomic hazard is by using engineering control, which is to rearrange the timetable for the worker so the workers can avoid their job with excessive time and give them time to rest. Next to wearing PPE to avoid the injuries but when dealing with the sharp object. Okay, uh, that's all from this video. I hope you can understand what's the point on this video and thank you. Assalamualaikum.